A favorite part of, my, of mine in our program each Thursday is recognizing Rotarians who ask for nothing in return but tend to extend themselves and help others that need. And I'd like to invite Deb DeMuth to come up to the stage and talk about a subject that some of us know a little about but most of us don't know enough about, the Rotary Youth Exchange Program. So she has a couple visitors. Thanks, Doug. As all of you may be aware, um, the Rotary uh, Foundation sponsors the Youth Exchange Program. And our club sent over two students this year to um, different countries, and we are hosting one student. Um, so first, I'd like to introduce uh, Tilly Milan. Tilly is, uh, is our exchange student here from Sweden. She's from a, the city of Mora. Uh, Tilly has, uh, comes from a family of skiers, so anyone that's interested in skiing with her, her father, your father's on the national ski, per, was on the national ski team for Sweden, um, and her brother's a big ski racer as well. So she is here for a full year. She arrived in mid-August and is going to East High School. Uh, she's a science whiz, loves physics and chemistry and all those fun things. So uh, I would like you to welcome Tilly Malin, pl Malin please. And then we also have a special treat today. Uh, Brooke Porter, who uh, we sent down to Argentina last school year, is here to talk a little bit about her program. Uh, she spent a full year down there and is going to DCIS, uh, will graduate this May and is currently interviewing at various colleges but hopes to actually go to Switzerland for college. So, Brooke, please tell us about it. Hello, uh, my name is Brooke. I spent the last year of my life living in Córdoba, Argentina and traveling throughout South America. Um, I remember being asked what my expectations for Argentina were before I left. Honestly, I don't think I could fathom the idea at the time. Yet today, I can assure you that every unfathomable expectation was met. As you can imagine, it wasn't always easy being far from home. Yet I pushed myself, knowing that an opportunity like this only came once in a lifetime. A person in my life that I respect dearly once said the following about being an exchange student. This person must be open-minded, understanding of cultural difference. This person must possess the initiative to bravely face the whole new world, but must walk with humility and face rejection in the world. This person must be able to overcome fear, anxiety, and his or her own sh shortcomings and to persist with the drowning in the depths of self-doubt and insecurity. Finally, this person must embrace the fact that she or he must be an ambassador for, ambassador for her country or her, his country, and comfortable with this role. I can assure you I walked in humility I, as I misplaced words and struggled to integrate into the Argentine society. Fear, the fear to fit in on my first day of school, the fear of being liked by my family, the fear not, of not making friends were soon to be overcome. And becoming ambassador, I found true, and by becoming ambassador, I found true love for my country, the melting pot, which brings us together I can assure you at times it's not easy to represent a country's controversial position such as our own with our deep-rooted history in Latin America. This same person concluded that the very fact that a person would voluntarily remove him or herself from the security of his or her own culture, context, and surrounding is to be commended. I don't expect to be commended. On the contrary, I'd like to commend, I'd like to, on the, on the contrary, there are people I would like to commend. To the people that pushed me to pursue my dreams, to my Argentinian friends and compañeros and that were there for me in times of need, and to my families that made me a home away from home, and, to, and most of all, to Rotary. I can't transcribe my entire paper, or my entire year into a paper, nor will I attempt to. There isn't a day that passes where I don't find my mind drifting off to memories of summer nights in the countryside cold winter afternoons sipping warm mate with friends, backpacking through the Andes, participating in peace marches in memory of the desaparecidos, dancing tango in the plaza as music blasted from old wooden speakers. Argentina will always be my second home, a remark the remarkable adventure of my adolescence and the missing place in my heart. 
I'd like to thank you a lot, Rhodey. Without you, my year wouldn't have been possible. And I'd like to present you with uh, my Rotary Club from Córdoba, our banner to add to your collection. So thank you.